Thanks, Alex. Uh, moving on to side effects. What potential side effects are there to LASIK? Initially, in the early weeks of recovery, or certainly the first few days, it's normal to get dry eyes and normal to get glare and halos. Uh, and this will tend to settle with time. With LASIK, it can settle from days to weeks, although sometimes even months afterwards, people are finding that they're still putting drops or sprays for, for dry eyes occasionally early in the morning or last thing at night. And for people who have the surface treatment, the glare and the halos can take a lot longer. And some of those people will get dry eyes, particularly at night. So normally in us human beings, we secrete tears during the day, but we don't at night. And sometimes after laser eye surgery, particularly the surface laser PRK, that dryness at night is exacerbated so that when they're having their REM, their rapid eye movement sleep at four or five in the morning, the eyeball, instead of moving around in a well-oiled uh, position is very dry and it can feel like the eyelid is stuck down to the front of the eye and that can sometimes rip some of the surface epithelial cells off the cornea. You can wake up with an uncomfortable eye in the middle of the night thinking you must have accidentally rubbed it. You haven't, it's just the REM sleep which has ripped off some of the epithelial cells. If it doesn't happen during that REM sleep period, sometimes when people first wake up in the morning they realise they've got to be careful and must massage their eyelid a bit before opening it because the eyelid can be stuck down to the front of the eyelid again, it's so dry. That settles with time as well, that's not a long-term problem. But uh, certainly teardrops, sprays, and even ointments in the eye at night before going to bed can all help alleviate that in the short term until it gets better. A lot of people with, who wear contact lenses prior to having laser eye surgery do have dry eyes because they have the dry eyes associated with the contact lens, and the contact lens is floating, semi-submerged, and the tear film can cause disturbance to the tear film, giving them dry eyes. But when they leave their contact lenses out for a period of time, they find their tear film reorganizes itself and they no longer have dry eyes. And certainly after laser eye surgery, people who had dry eyes beforehand often don't have dry eyes in the long term after laser eye surgery because they're no longer wearing the contact lenses, so they don't get the contact lens induced dry eyes. But certainly in the period when it's settling down, they, might, they will be having teardrops. Some people ask, will it last forever? And we can't look into the future. All we can do is look at the past and try to predict the future. So if people have had a stable prescription for three years, two to three years, they're over the age of 21 or in some centers over the age of 18, then they're 85% likely to remain stable. But the high prescriptions are more likely to regress. So if you're minus seven, eight, then you're more likely to perhaps, to, over the, as the years go by, to get a little bit of regression coming back in. So that in 10, 15 years time after laser eye surgery, you might be minus one. In which case, you'd be back in glasses again. And you'd say, well, 15 years ago, I had my laser eyes, I had my eyes lasered, but I'm back in glasses again. You wouldn't be minus eight again, you'd just be minus one. But a lot of people remain stable forever for distance vision, but obviously when they get to the age of 45, the lens inside the eye starts to stop focusing, and then just being human is that you need reading glasses.